Have we not? No, there's only ever been red, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. So he's, he's red. He's red as well. The only thing I thought when I saw it. Right? Da, 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 da. <gasps> the little cheeky L. <laughs> what is it, Mila? What is it? <laughs> Where's Jace? Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, no. How crazy! Why is the magic of brother come back? The naughty old back. Jace. What the heck? She's like, look guys, look all the elves that are here. I even said, I literally wow. said, I've been looking at all the elves to come back. Uh, Isla, I think they heard. Isla said last night, I'd love for all the elves to come back. Why are they, Mila? No. <laughs> there's the red one, the purple one, yeah. there's the blue one, there's the green one, there's the yellow one, <gasps> and the naughty one. The little oh. naughty one. Oh. <laughs> He's got a mask on, we don't know if we're definitely if it's him. But he's red, but that's so cool. Good morning iPhone, welcome to today's vlog. It's our first day back home after our very, very wonderful festive Christmas trip to Cornwall, Disneyland and London this December. We had such an amazing time. We made so many great memories, but I cannot lie and pretend that I'm not kind of happy to be back home. Home is where the heart is at Christmas. Um, our cheeky elves are up to mischief this morning, for definite. Especially. So, all of the friends came back from the North Pole. I'm so happy that they did. They're so happy. Including In the naughty elf from two years ago. We think yep. he's the naughty elf because he's wearing a mask. He and is. he was laid down. Like, I walked in the kitchen, no, was it five minutes ago, two minutes ago, walked in the kitchen and I, um, I got the telly remote, quickly put the telly on for Jace and I walked back into the kitchen and he was still laid down when I walked back in. I sat on the sofa over there and then I looked a couple minutes, seconds later, he was sat up. And this is the same elf that was sat on Esme's bed two years ago in our sharing room with scissors in his hands and the one that got inside and we put him outside and the one that turned all the lights off. So He's the naughty one. So these ones are all good. They, they do funny mischief. This one's naughty. And Snowball Jingles twin. So yeah. Snowball Jingles and Jingle Snowball. Yeah, so we've got Snowball Jingles and Isla's named him Jingle Snowball. Yeah, like he's got a mask on. He's so naughty. Yeah, because Snowball Jingles is really good, but he's really bad, so it's like the opposite. Yeah, they're like the opposite. Don't say he's really bad. No, don't say he's really bad. He's not doing anything bad he's this lovely. time. He is lovely, isn't he? He's a nice elf. He's, he's always, always listening. He's just wearing a mask for <laughs> Anyway, we've got a busy all day today. We are, I'm trying to think of what we've got to do. We're transforming the kitchen. This space here has got some wooden slats that will be going up that have just arrived. Well, well they arrived actually whilst we were away. Um, so we're going to be getting those up today. I need to go and buy 
a rug for... Look, everyone's disagreeing with me. I'm massively disagreeing. Esme's massively disagreeing. Ignore the mess. It is a bit of a chaos site in here right now. But I think a black rug under here will be so nice. Just not even a big one. Just slightly bigger than the table. Just to break up all I the white. I think it'll be... <laughs> Esme thinks it should be dark grey. Because I think black. Like, imagine when we jump, right? When yeah, I think jump. that's perfect. It's like oh, contrast. Nice. It matches the wall. It's like matches the wall and it's contrast. Chris doesn't think we should have one at all. I don't think Isabel thinks we should have one at all. Isla, what do you think? Do you think it should be a rug yeah, under I here? Think we should, actually, I think we should because it looks a bit well, random. I think we should, but I feel like a little bit lighter, like a light grey, maybe. <gasps> oh. See, I'm gonna go and have a look at Donnell anyway and see what I can see basically. So I'm not too sure which one we'll go for, but I'm going to go and have a look. Hopefully, I'll be able to find one. I need to get a tape measure and measure the table because I don't want it huge. And it's sometimes hard to gauge in shops like how big something is. So I don't want it massive, but I don't want it obviously smaller than the table, which will be a nightmare. So I'm going to measure that. We're doing the kitchen transformation today. We are going to Mila's, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous for this. Mila's got her hip appointment tomorrow, like her follow-up appointment. And I don't think I've ever been more nervous about anything in my whole life. In fact, I was panicking, I was nervous the whole time we were in Disney about it when we got the appointment through. And some of you are probably thinking, why are you so nervous? Like she's walking now and you can clearly see that she's doing okay, which is true. But her, her crease lines are uneven again. And that is one sign of the hips not growing in the correct places. Um, and I'm sure that her hip creases were exactly the same just after she'd got the cast and brace taken off. So the lines like matched up and they don't match again. So it's making me panic yeah, that maybe the hip... Did he just move? Maybe I just dropped and my belly would not have dropped if I hit. He's been so cheeky today. <laughs> So basically her, hips and her creases are not the same. She's walking, she's got no pain from her hips, obviously she jumps around, dances around, walks perfectly, but I'm just nervous for the appointment tomorrow. Anyway, whilst we're over in Sheffield and near Ikea, we're calling to Ikea because Chris wants to put a little, Chris wants to put a unit under here, right? Now I wanted to put a long unit under here as well. When I expected this to be a tiny little bit higher, this to be a bit smaller, and like maybe like there, and then a unit, I don't think he's left enough space there for a unit. Ignore this. I don't think there's enough space there for a unit. But the idea was to get a unit to come to about here, here-ish, something like that. It is on the wall equal, it's just that the way I'm stood makes it look like it's further to that side. Um, and then we've got two, and then we've got some up lighting and then two big plants. So the plans to go to Ikea tomorrow after Mila's appointment and see if we can find a, a low unit and some fake plants. I'm not getting real ones ever, ever again because I can't keep them alive for some reason. I'm just useless and I can't do it. But that's the plan for down here. We've got Isla's bathroom transformation happening today. I'm going to be doing that a little bit later on. Um, it's all go today. We've only got a few days to go before Christmas and they're taken up pretty much from tomorrow. Oh, there's dentist appointments happening tomorrow as well. There's a lot happening. <laughs> right, I had some packages that arrived whilst we were away. I'm going to go and open those now. We've got two more video messages to film. Personalised video messages that people have ordered for Christmas gifts, I guess. So I've got two more of those that came through this morning. We caught up last night, but two more came through this morning. So I'm going to film them straight away and get them sent over. I was on Elf watching duty, <laughs> then I'm going to Dunelm. It's all busy. Busy, busy, busy day. Oh my goodness, I've even got packages trying to fall out the bottom of the door. There's that many. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much. Last Christmas order's going out. Don't even get me started with the front as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the next few days here are gonna get crazy because we've got so much going on, so much to do, so much to get ready for. For Christmas! First job today has to be done and this has to be finished today. We've got some bathroom renovations to do. We've got some kitchen renovations to do. Finally, our wood panelling that's going behind the TV and the fire arrived! So today is installation day. And I'm a little bit worried about it, but um, let's go. Let's get jump right into it. First things first, I need to take the TV off the wall, take the fire off the wall, and then we'll bring the wood in and start measuring it up. Okay, okay, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. Oh no, doors, and a bit of a messy wall. So uh, let's get the wood in and measure it up. So we've got the kitchen underway. Um, we're having a bit of drama. <laughs> Wouldn't be a renovation with us without a bit of drama. The, the mounts for the fireplace and the TV, we were wanting to cut, well, what we wanted to leave them on the wall basically, and then cut around them. Cut the cut a space out in the wood around them 
so that they were slightly back behind the wood, if that makes sense. But we can't do that because... Have you tried it? Because the TV won't sit snugly <coughs> with the... We need different mounts, yeah. we need different, <coughs> We'd need different mounts, basically. The TV, like, hooks over this part here. And if this... It won't be able to go back with the wood, basically. So... That's not going to work. That means we need to take these off of the wall, but... Oh, so annoying. We're going to have to remount both things. For definite. To take these off the wall, we won't be able to see behind here to get them back, you know, the screws back in the same place. Unless you mark it on. Yeah, it's probably going to be tricky. Which then means that we need to take the whole things off, take them off completely, fill the holes, and then re re put them back on. But to do that, we need more um, wall plugs, which we don't have. The heavy duty wall plugs, because obviously it's a big, massive old TV, that one. Um, but I think that's going to be the only option, really. Obviously, I am going out to the shops, but we don't really want to wait to do this for me to go out to the shops and then get back. So, fingers crossed, we can work it out. Also, Chris is definitely going to go mad. And you guys probably can't even see what this is because the camera's blurry. But those are basically two sets of lights to go all along the patio door. They ain't going along, so why do you bought? We get it. They are. <laughs> they are, babe. No, they're not. It looks nice when it's twinkling at Christmas time. These, these are not the wire ones that you didn't like last year. These are different. These are proper string ones. It's not wire, so it's not going to be all tangly and annoying. They're like proper string. What's going on, Mum? Isabel. I'll help you. Tell Dad that at Christmas time, mm -hmm. it smells nice, probably me. At Christmas time, it looks nice when we have string lights across the five, one, two, three, five yeah, patio yeah, doors. Yeah, we did it last year. Dad's, Dad thinks no. Dad, it's disgraceful. It's disgraceful. Dad thinks no. I think if you want to help me, I've got two packs. Yeah. Can you just help me hold it up so yeah. I can see how many hooks I need to get when I go to the sure. shop? So I'm just in Dunelm and I just came to look at the sale, sale section because I was hoping to find a cheap coffee table, basically. So in our living room, we've got obviously our corner sofa and the buffet thing in front. Is it a buffet? Buffet? Poofa? Whatever you want to call it. Um, and we never have anywhere to put our cups of tea and drinks. And I don't really know what I want and I don't really know where I'd put it, but some sort of table to put drinks on, basically. But there's no look here. So I'm going to head over now to look at the rugs. Hopefully we have better luck. Problem for me with, oh my gosh, that is adorable. That is adorable. With places like this, is there's so much choice that I end up confused and not knowing what to buy. So, too light in my opinion, too grey. I know that the girls were saying dark grey, but I honestly think black would just contrast so much and look better. Or will grey look better? I just think grey is just, it's just more grey, you know? It's just more grey, there's already a lot of grey in there. And I feel like just adding that colour will just be too much samey samey to the sofas and the table that it's sitting on. So I thought like a black. Maybe it's just because it's Christmas time and I'm all about the green right now, but how nice is this like um, emerald green? So nice. Do I have any black? None. Until the 28th of December and I'm so impatient I want to take one home today. So we're going for a dark grey, which I just said I didn't want, but you know what? The kind guy's of getting it down for me now. I'm laying it on the floor so I can see the colour. Well, they're really thick, aren't they? They are, yeah. They're really thick. Is that the large? That's the large. This is the thick one, honestly. These are so thick. Okay, the lovely guy was helping me choose, so I didn't want to film too much, but I looked at two. They were both the darkest colour that they do in store without having to wait until like after Christmas. So I did want to pick one up, even though I was des definitely going to be going with black. I've gone with a dark steel grey which I'm sure I like it once we get it home and it's better than not having one. I really wanted it all done and pulled together for Christmas, which is why I've bought it, but I can definitely find somewhere else in the house for that to go if after Christmas I find a black one. But personally, I think it's gonna look nice. It's much darker than the sofas, which is the main thing. I didn't want it to like blend in with the table and the sofas with a gray like 
you know like this colour and uh, that's not what I wanted anyway I viewed two one was really thick and luxury like very very thick and the other one wasn't quite as thick but looked darker let me go around and show you it if I can if the guy's got because I feel really awkward always left it out it's still out this is the other one I viewed um this one so it's it's basically just a dark rug it's not massively mega thick but it's still nice um you can see still a nice rug but I went for the really thick one which was it was it a mistake quite possibly um it's going in the kitchen however we don't eat in that area so hopefully it won't be too bad anyway now moving on to curtain the guy's taking it put it behind the till for me now we're gonna go look at curtains okay we're not having luck with curtains so basically I need the biggest size they do so you people might be thinking I'm crazy but what I want to do, it's really hard to explain, but I want floor to ceiling curtains in my bedroom and I want them the full length of the wall. So they will completely cover the patio door, the window and the whole of that wall and they'll go floor to ceiling. So it'll be like one massive curtain wall, if that makes sense. And then on the top, the ceiling, where you'd typically see like the curtain rail, I want that kind of boxed in. So like with some wood and painted, so it's boxed in and then we'll put some down lighting in the box which will shine down the curtains so it'll be like a light curtain wall kind of thing however the room is like almost 500 meters 500 centimeters or five meters long that way and then floor to ceiling it's about 20 ish centimeters smaller no bigger sorry than what the curtains are so the curtains are 228 and it's about 400 no, what am I talking about? It's about 100 and... It's 20 centimetres short, guys. What am I even trying to say? So, I think I'll be able to compensate that by not having the curtains all the way at the ceiling, but having them kind of at the bottom of the box. You know, the box in bit that I'm doing. But basically, in Dunelm, they don't have... They have loads of curtains, but they don't have two sets because I'd need to buy two sets of the curtains because the width is... What's the biggest one? 90 metres, basically per curtain what am i talking about 90 inch per curtain and that's not enough to have pleats as well so i'd need to buy two sets of curtains which is fine but that they don't stock them so this is the biggest size they do <sighs> these ones so these are the ones that i need to buy and i need to buy two sets so that there was enough curtain to make it look good and then i couldn't decide which color to go for because i did originally want it kind of neutral like this colour but I don't think that'll look good with the grey headboard so then I was thinking maybe we go for like the charcoal grey which I think I probably would go for but I do also like this ivory colour as well um, but either way can't go for any of them can I because they don't have two sets they only ever stock one of the bigger size in each colour <laughs> and they can't bring them in until the 28th I think they said which is after Christmas which you know me I'm too impatient don't really want to wait and then I'm also thinking how do I what's the best way to put them on the wall because because those ones are eyelet ones and I don't think two that'd be two curtain rails which would inevitably mean a gap in between the two curtains closing which I also don't want so then I'm thinking maybe what is it called pencil something pencil pleat uh, pencil pleat yeah so then I'm thinking pencil pleat which is this style uh, because that will be easier to hide under the box and I just think it'd be easier to have pencil pleat I don't know I don't know there's a range here I'm gonna go over to the range because they also do curtains and hopefully I'll have more luck over there. So I'm now in the range. Um, I'm looking for wall art for the kitchen. I do have a an artist that I absolutely love. It's called Lee Lambert. I always worry, when, when I say it out loud, it doesn't sound the same as when I read it. And I don't say his name often because obviously why would I? So oh, I've always questioned myself, is that what he's called? But oh my gosh, his art, I just, I love it so much. Um, and I really want to start collecting some of his artwork but his prints are quite hard to get a hold of and I'm not an art expert I don't actually know what I'm buying so when you go to like buy it on his website there's loads of different options and I always get overwhelmed and they're really expensive as well so I always end up getting really overwhelmed and not buying anything um, that's the dream to be what is what I'm trying to say the dream is to buy all of his artwork and have it all over my kitchen because I love it but for now the range will have to do <laughs> so 
Um, I wanted to get something on the wall tonight, if possible, just so it looks cosy in that area. But I can't find anything in the range that I think would be suitable. I do actually really like this. I know it's a bit random, but this is basically uh, the artwork that matches our, our ones that we have in the hallway. And this one is like a tree version, which is really nice. And I like that it's got colour on it. I feel like we need a pop of colour in that room, especially now that I've got a grey blooming rug. But I just don't know if bright yellow is the pop of colour I'm... You know, I'm just not sure it's the colour I'm thinking. But I honestly, I've got so much in here, but just nothing that I think would go. Also, I'm sorry, but I absolutely love this. This is literally six pound nights now. It's like the cheapest thing ever. And I love it. Look at that. Oh, <gasps> whoa. It just reminds me of Switzerland. Oh, it's just, I love it. I absolutely love it, but I just don't feel like, the thing is as well, because it's not just one wall and it is a big space, I need something that I can put on one wall and then something on the next wall, you know, like on both walls basically, that complement each other and that's where I'm struggling. If I was just buying something for one space, I could probably find something, but because I need two pieces of artwork that complement each other, that's why I'm struggling a little bit. But, um, yeah. Here's some of the artwork that they've got in there. Some of it is so cheap. Like, I'm trying to find something. Like, so, oh, I was about to say, like, this is here for £1.99, but that's obviously not, not tagged right. Like this, look at this, £13. That humongous thing. Um, but I just don't think there's anything in here. Actually, there's that one up there that's very, that's the same as that, or similar to that. But I'm, no, I'm not, I don't think I'm quite feeling that, actually. Also, these are absolutely ginormous, like, they don't even look that big on camera, but they're massive. I don't know why, but I've always really liked this type of oil. Is that oil painting? I think that's oil painting. You know, like like the moody, rainy, wet. I don't know why, it just makes me feel really nostalgic. The wet scene. But I just don't think it's right for our kitchen. I kind of didn't want a big canvas. Um, and I'm gonna end up leaving with nothing. What do you think, guys? What do you think we need in our kitchen on the walls? What, what would you do if you had that space? Comment down below and let me know. Also, for anybody that's looking for a last minute Christmas bargain, the range has 30% off everything Christmas related. Everything is 30% off. Christmas display models also 30% off. Absolute bargain. Okay, I take it back. Not absolutely everything is included in the Christmas sale, but pretty much everything is. Anyway, this is what I'm here for. Why are they so expensive? Seriously, fiver. A few hooks. Probably only three packs as well. That's so expensive. In fact, that's more than the lights cost me. <laughs> three packs of these is more than the lights cost me. I'm really tempted to buy this. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. How nice is this as well? It's an LED light, picture and it lights up. So it's not lit up right now, there's no batteries. But it's so pretty, it makes me feel really nostalgic. Anyway, I absolutely love this for our windowsill in our living room. It's the only part of the house now, not the only part, but the only part that's really bugging me. It's just not bugging me, but it's just one place that I'm like, oh, I wish I had something on the living room windowsill. Like it looks really bare, everywhere else looks really nice. And it is 30% off, and it does light up, and it does match the color scheme of the living room. Okay guys, I'm back in the car. We had no luck with the curtains. I just, I feel like it's one of those things where, oh, where's the light going? With the rug, it's kind of okay to rush it and buy it because I think that will look nice. But with the curtains, it's more of a big job, like drilling into the wall, blah, blah, blah. So I don't want to rush that, so I've left them. We'll have to just do that after Christmas, unless we find something suitable at Ikea when we go tomorrow after Mila's hip appointment. Oh my gosh, every time I think of that, my stomach literally drops. Anyway, I did buy something today from TK Maxx. I ran in there because, oh, never, ever again will I do Alphabet Secret Santa. And that's all I'm saying about that. Anyway, I ran into TK Maxx and I bought something that Chris is just going to be absolutely delighted with. In fact, I might not even show him. Might just pop her up. <laughs> Tell me that's not the scariest fairy you ever did see. Oh, do you know what, guys, right? Do you know what the thing is? Is that when I was growing up, we had a fairy on the top of our Christmas tree and... In my young girl humble opinion, it was the most beautiful fairy and she looked exactly like that probably I ever did see and it was really special putting the fairy on top of the Christmas tree and nowadays I feel like everyone just automatically goes for either a star or a bow, a star or a bow and I want, 
I, I don't know. I'll either love her on the tree or I'll hate her. But she was reduced to, how much was it? She was reduced to eight pound. So do you know what? I think I'm gonna love her. I think I'm gonna love it. I wanted one a while ago and I've not been able to stop thinking about it since. So I, I bought her and I'm gonna just pop her on the top of the Christmas tree and wait for Chris to see. It's a tradition thing for me. It's like a, mem a nostalgic memory to have a fairy on the top of the Christmas tree. And I want to bring that back so badly because I remember as a child looking up at the fairy on the Christmas tree and all like, wow, she gets to sit on top of the Christmas tree. And I want my children to think, it's not the same, it's been a star. Maybe I'm, I'm uh, on my own in that opinion, but I love her. So I'm gonna go home now um, and make us, am I gonna do Alice's bathroom today? I feel like the day is getting away with us. Um, I need to get home. I'll see you when I get there. And voila, she's done. All the panels are up, the TV bracket is back on, the fire bracket is back on, and I think it's actually looking pretty good. <whistles> yeah, there's just a couple of panels down here that are they're just loose basically, so I just need to move them and stick them a little bit, get this masking tape off, and obviously clean up, but I think it looks wicked. What do you think is? Love it. Yeah? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, what was that, babe? It's a shame the whole rug's gonna be covered up <laughs> do you suddenly like it look how thick it is it's the honestly this is the thickest rug i think i've ever seen put in place you can't even see me let's see it's so soft it's so soft mama do you like it yeah i thought it's so nice look oh my gosh look at me little footprint it's really cool. <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna lift the table and then yeah it's very heavy though see you start with okay okay let's go it does esme esme just said it looks more homely I thought it might have been a bit too big. It's good about it size down, isn't it? The si I almost went for the size down because it was the size of the size Chris sent me for the table measurements. But then I realised, oh no, that's the actual size of the table. Obviously I need it a bit bigger. So I went for the size up. And I was thinking, I hope it's not too big. I actually think we should have gone another size up. I underestimate how big the space is all the time because it all, it's, it's much bigger than it looks. Probably would have gone for a size up if I'd have thought about it and known, but I like it. Do you like it? Yeah, that's good. I don't think you need to change it up. You don't think so? I think if you do it, just take, it, take over too much of the floor. And Chris has finished the panelling on the wall. Oh, why did we even mess about thinking we could do this ourselves? That was stupid. <laughs> We've got loads of wood. It was not easy with these. It looks very, very good now. It's it, done. It does look very the only good. The thing that was difficult was cutting out plug sockets and things like that. Yeah, That's definitely. What it was hard. But basically, it's four panels. Uh, let me show you. In fact, let me just do the reveal first. Okay, so Chris is looking at vacuums because that one's broke. Why did you get that one that was in the house in Cornwall? You loved that one. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. That's okay. Um, this is the wall. Oh, let me see the lights out. Actually, it's nice when the lights are out. Oh, look. Oh, it's so blooming cozy. Not with those lights over there flashing the heads off. Okay. So, oh. Okay, here we go. So, this is the panelling that we went for. And I honestly can't recommend it enough. Where did we get this from, babe? Um, I don't know. Chris will just get the name of the company that we've got this from. Um, it's not finished completely, this area. It should be tomorrow, though. It should be tomorrow. I don't think we're going to fit a unit on here, but Chris does. But either way, we're going to have some big plants coming up either side and then have we got up lighting or down lighting <laughs> up lighting and then we've got up lighting that will go up and then we need to top up the paintwork that we've messed up here but honestly i can't i'm not i couldn't be happy with it uh, the wood veneer hub.co.uk it so it's from the wood veneer hub.co.uk if anyone's thinking about doing this then i would 100 percent recommend it's literally like don't do it yourself, don't do it yourself. Yeah, it's get this <laughs> um it's perfectly it's such good quality it's perfectly like positioned and it's so much easier just popping a panel up on the wall we've got four panels here with for this whole space and all you have to do like chris said is just cut out things like plug sockets as you can see down there um it does also come in a load of different colors so if you don't want this color, but this is the perfect color that we were hoping for wasn't it it's perfect. Carl Random. Room, yeah. It's, it's so paint. perfect. Yeah, we need to do some paint touch-ups. We need some artwork and things for the wall. Um, and what else do we need in here? And then we're gonna when the Christmas tree is taken down, I'm gonna get like a coffee table to go in there, and then one of those tree things that light up, I think. But here's the rug. I uh, I absolutely love it. I probably would have gone a size bigger, like I said, if I'd have known. But I still think it does the job, especially when there's a unit down there and some green green, you know 
plants and things going up, which will take up that floor space over there as well. But I'm, oh, I'm so happy with it. Chris doesn't agree, but I still think this bit up here should be black. No! <laughs> it just looks so awkward there. It just, oh, it looks tiny on the camera. It looks so weird, just that little, I think it would just bring it all together if that bit was done as well. But anyway, uh, here it is. Love it. So, so perfect. And I'm actually quite glad we just went for it, sat back against the wall. But I think as soon as there's some big, Oh, dear. <laughs> Jace has popped Esme's balloon. I think when there's some big, thick, chunky, black-framed artwork, I actually saw some in TK Maxx. I'm so angry because it was like black and white pictures that were really nice. I know it sounds weird, but they were actually really nice. And it had like this colour frame around it. And it looked really... Pardon? How do you get it? So they're £100 each. <laughs> What? Well, I didn't, I don't know, I just, I'd, I'd already bought the rug and things, so I was just a bit like, oh, I'm not spending any more today. Um, but yeah, and also, like I said before, we need something that'd go here, and also this wall here behind me. I turned the camera off then, literally for a split second, and the whole, all hell broke loose. So Mila's now having a comfort feed. Everyone's a bit stressed. <laughs> but yeah, we just need some artwork now for the walls and the plants, and... I think this area will be really nice. Yeah, let's finish it tomorrow. Do you think we should have black and white artwork? I think we should have like a colour pop. What do you reckon? Uh, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah I don't mind. I think a bit, a bit of colour. Love it. We just finished up with dinner and I thought I'd do like a little haul of what I bought when I was out today. Because I'm about to go and put it all out. I am definitely getting this done tonight. So I may have accidentally on purpose bought this, which I have absolutely no regrets about. I love it. I'm gonna put the batches in that in a second. I also bought this. I thought this was really, really, really cute. And I thought it'd look nice in the hallway, obviously the entrance hall. I'm gonna go and find a spot for that in a second. I also bought two of these from, yes Jace. Ever. Are you building the biggest tower ever? Yeah. Well done. I need, I need more tools to, to do it. Okay. I bought two of these from the range. I had originally thought in the range when I picked these up that these could go on the windowsill side by side with this that I also bought. Whoops. It's still rock my face. I'm going to have to have a shower. <laughs> He's going to get a shower right now because uh, it's got like soot or something all over his face. I thought that would look nice in um, the living room on the windowsill because like I said before the windowsill is really bare. And then I found that but I forgot and I thought this would still go nice somewhere. So I also bought those. I couldn't resist this. Look how cute this is. This was like two pound something or three pound. It's so adorable. And it lights up as well. What, darling? I think Dan has just put it outside. And then finally, I got this for the playroom. This was, this <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> this, what I got from the, that I got from the playroom, sorry. And this was like two pound, two pound or something like that. It was very cheap. Just, <laughs> just ignore these two fighting and polystyrene. <laughs> I also bought this that I just built. It was an absolute nightmare to build it. Um, but yeah, I bought that for Isla's bathroom to put some toiletry type things on, some like flannels and towels and things. Jay, stop saying you're so mean. Things like that on that. So I'm gonna go upstairs to Isla's bathroom now and make a start. Okay, so here's a little before shot of Isla's bathroom. It's, oh, a, oh, 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 oh. it's a lovely, lovely bathroom, is this? It's a gorgeous bathroom. But it's just very... It's massive as well. It's just very um, plain, basically. It needs a bit of oomph to it. It needs a bit of something, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so let's make it look good. So I mean, we're not doing a big transformation here. We're just adding a bit of decor. Hopefully make it look a bit more What do you think? Oh my gosh. It's crazy how just a shelf and a few bits can transform somewhere. It looks oh so much God. nicer. It was so plain before, but now it's just so good. It's really nice. Okay, the lighting's a bit rubbish right now. But like I said, we're not doing like a big massive, <laughs> a big massive renovation thing yeah. in what we're doing here. We just wanted to add a few bits because it just looked so plain. Um, <laughs> but I look, I think it looks so nice now. Uh, Chris doesn't like the artwork, which to be fair, I mean I like it. It was £6.99 for all three, so but I like it. I love it. I think they look nice. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. So we've added, obviously, this here. 
We've got towels, toilet rolls, like sponges, salt, little scoop, little scooper. We've got the pictures up here, and then on here we've just got some plants and like a vanilla diffuse velvet velvet vanilla, I think that one is. Reed diffuser, some little bathroom bits and bats. Got face flannels up there. Um, blah blah blah. <laughs> and then we've got what's we talk? Get the girls, we can see it. Yeah, in a second. Okay. And then on here we've just got like hand gels, shower gels, bath oils, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, I think it looks really nice. We've just added a few bits, but it's yeah, really made it feel. Oh yeah. Zyla's so favourite. <laughs> it's like a snowman, it's got so big. It is very, very cute. So I'm pretty happy with that. I do think we need something here. Chris said we don't, I think we do. Um, we never ever agree on anything. <laughs> uh, I think it looks nice. We are going to change this. We're going to I saw a really nice black yeah. and white one. Uh, with like a, a dupe. Really it's mm. like, I mean it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Everything just and yeah. Look, so yeah. I think we're overdue a new one anyway. We've had that for over yeah. a year now, probably like a year and a half. So we need a new one of those anyway. And then I'd quite like some like a really big something there, but who knows? I've got a mirror there, yeah. I kind of don't need another mirror. But it looks really nice. Let me turn the main light off. Cute! Oh, so relaxing. Chris wants to put a TV in here, by the way. Oh, and I'm just so like, cool. no. Right there, Do you reckon? Yes, it's like Chris would have TVs in every room. I just think baths are not for TVs. They're for closing your eyes and chilling out. You look tiny in the bath. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it looks nice. I think we've added a couple of touches and it's really made a big difference. I love it. The only other thing I wanted to do tonight, which we don't have the correct nail for, is pin this up. Oh my gosh, I don't know why, but I just love this so much. It's so pretty. I kind of want it, like, well, you can't see a thing there, so let me just move back. In the middle, somewhere on the wall there. Also, why has this gone green? Can someone tell me why this has gone green? Like, why? We need to varnish, we need to paint this thing, like charcoal or something. It looks ridiculous, this colour. Why? Oh no, we should why? do it like a beigey colour. A be not charcoal, because that's too dark. Yeah. But like a beigey colour. Like that colour. Oh my gosh, yeah. that looks so... And it match that as well. <gasps> I'm going to go to B&Q and get some more and get the paint for that. Because, okay. yeah, I'm not feeling the green. But anyway, I love this. I think it's so adorable. And yeah, it will look really so nice cool. when it's up on the wall. <laughs> the vlog here it's been such a non-stop day today and it's going to be the same tomorrow <laughs> we were planning on putting the lights up on patio doors down there however the hooks i got are white and it looks silly <laughs> i would have just put the white it's only sticky hook who's gonna be looking at the sticky hook they're like tiny they're like this but you saw them i vlogged it they're no good basically and they were expensive. We need to find something to use them for now. <laughs> we need clear ones. Chris won't have them up because they're white and they need to be clear because the wire is clear. Isla's just sat talking to the owls. <laughs> they're so cute. Yeah. My biggest wish is for I've all of them to go except some of them goes to have its sparkles. And then on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, they all come back. Yeah, they've never done that before, have they? I, I doesn't like that one down there. No, she like she genuinely doesn't <laughs> actually like it. She did just have a bit of a. We had a chat, didn't we? Yeah. Because she did have a bit of a panic about, uh, not panic. That's not the right word, but um. It's just like he, he turned all the lights off. It, it one year he turned all the lights off, and I didn't like that, and so he she's. Was skipping around the kitchen, yeah. Yeah, just we saw a video of him skipping around the kitchen and it freaked her out a little bit so we had to have a chat she's a bit worried that he was going to go into her bedroom tonight when she was asleep the elves have never gone in your bedroom though no never but we just had a word and we've said what did we say isla we're going to do if any of the elves go anywhere near isla's bedroom or upstairs or upstairs in the <laughs> then in the morning they're going to get flicked so i'm sorry but i am going to flick you and you'll have to stay in the north pole <laughs> and not come back to our house if you go near isla's bedroom so she's happy with that that one there she just don't like him. But we're not saying that out loud. Yeah. Because he, he might be... Actually... Like, we haven't... He's not done anything. Though, no, he hasn't. It? The only thing he's done is first he was laid down in his bag. Yep. Then he was sat up in his bag. Yep. And then his bag was there. 
Yeah, he's yeah, moved a little like bit. It. But he's not done anything naughty, and he might yeah. not. And, la and, and that one year, wasn't even last year, he didn't do anything naughty yeah. last year. He didn't come last year. No, I, no, he didn't come last year. He didn't come. Because Isla was too traumatised from the year before. <laughs> <laughs> because he turned the lights out and he, Isla didn't like it. So, so yeah, so he basically. He's a changed elf. He may be changed. He's a ch oh. Or maybe he's escaped elf. Okay. No, he but didn't I escape. Seen him do anything naughty. I think he's going to be really nice. We've had a chat with him and we've let them know that if they go anywhere near Isla's room or even upstairs, because they need to stay down here. Yeah, they have to stay down here. Yeah, then they'll be in big trouble. Yeah. When did they turn the lights out? I can't remember that. I can't remember. They turned the lights out. I think you were in the house with them. Yeah, yeah. I definitely wasn't there. It was you that was in the house with them. I think he turned the lights out. You're doing the lights in the whole house, but it's dark. So, um, anyway, we've had a chat with the elves and we've let them know they can't go upstairs. Well, I'm going to flick them in the morning and they'll have to stay at the North Pole Hospital. Yeah. And that's it for tonight's vlog, guys. Um, we can't put the lights up because Chris won't have them up and he clear cooks. So that's a job for tomorrow. Um, but I'm pretty happy that we managed to get the kitchen, this part of the kitchen, done. And I'm just in love with the wood. I love it. I definitely recommend it for anyone thinking of using wood and doing a panelling part to buy that. It's so much easier. It's like so much easier. And we managed to do Isla's bathroom, which I'm happy about. That's it for today, though, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. For 62 orders on Baby and Me tonight. 62 orders since the vlog went live at 6 pm. See you back here tomorrow at 5 pm. Good night, guys. Mm -hmm.